Okay, so hey, you guys, we are finished bonding in the hair. I just was gonna do a cut tutorial for you guys because it's been a while since I did a pixie cut, but let's get into it. So, of course, I'm using my favorite, and I linked this in the description before. I'm gonna start with the, 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 the long end just to give it that razor um, cut versus the um the um the blunt long in and you're gonna start closer to the ear when you're cutting the sides so now now I'm going in with the short end and I'm cutting the back and I'm trying not I'm not going up far this time because I want it to be um I can't explain that part and I'm just going around the sides with the blunt end and I'm just raking I'm not really putting a lot or putting a lot of pressure on my hand I'm just raking pretty much Remember to stay close to the ear when you're doing this side. I mean, this part of the cutting. Because you don't want to go up too far. So I'm going to go ahead with the blunt part again. I don't know if you believe you. I don't believe her. I said, you know what? I want to deal with it. I don't want the drama. Let me, let me be. You still have those letters? Yes. I said, I'm going to So, bomb. Okay. Okay. Once you comb it out, you're going to measure how you, you want your, how far you want your sideburns to go up. So, I'm just going to use the blunt in again. And this, um, so, um, this part is totally optional with the, um, flat iron and the, um, sideburns. It's totally optional, but in my personal opinion, it makes it look much more natural when you're, um, getting those sideburns. And make sure you got to cut it down as much as you want it. Like for the thickness is not in the sideburns when you flat iron, and you don't have to keep trying to go over and cut that. Oh, okay. Uh, two, and be very light-handed when you're cutting um the front when you're um shaving. Be light-handed with the um the more um longer end because it gives you a spiky look, like a not spiky razor look. So that's how that looks. Huh? No, I mean, okay, hold your head over. Grab your info. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, flat iron this part as well. And I'll put the link to the description in there for these two. I love these for this style. What murders? And they said Johnny Clark and Lisa Strauss. Murders right away you knew what they were talking about? Yeah. Because I, I, I like, that's the thing that I knew. Did you think I remember it because he was like, it was Jimmy Murphy's first time. Like, he was living good. It was, that was, I wanted to say, sixth grade, after my birthday. And he wasn't with me on my birthday, but he was like, because I, I don't know if he, he said he was out of town. I don't know where he was. Yeah. So let me even the sideburns out, the um sides out. Oh, yeah. Finally, he was like, look, well, I'm sorry. Sam are not on that video that night inside the bottom line. 
your river partner and one for the bottom line. Yeah. We were sitting right by the front door. Like, okay. that table by the front door was like right there, four feet. And I don't know who the other guy that was with us, but I know it was me, Sam, and Larry. And then there was another person, but I don't know what his name was. But we were sitting like, there's a door and the table like right there. We were sitting right there. Right there. What was that TV then? The NFC football game. Oh, the championship game? Yeah. It was, I want to say it was Sunday. To be honest, I want to say it was Sunday that we were there. Because Sunday they never had karaoke, but I think the karaoke was not there that night. So it was either a Sunday or it might have been a Tuesday, but I'm pretty sure it was a Sunday because the NFC football game, the championship game, was on. Did, uh, did Sam ever come over and ask you to drive this car? A couple times. Not a whole lot, though. I've drove this car maybe twice at most. And what instances were those? Just like going to like bathroom to get somebody that needed a license. I do, so they didn't want to drive out to Rockford, so we went out to Rockford. That's great. Other cousin, now I'm going to cook. Um, this part and what you're doing is like if you're doing layers you could do it with the comb or the scissors but i'm gonna do it with the scissors you're gonna pull up and just go at an angle So with me cutting that, that's how it would look. And we're gonna go ahead with this end right here and get some of those long pieces out to make it um not be on her eyes. And 
players, and I want to say it was September 26th or 27th. It was on a Tuesday. Okay. So, Uh-oh. and I'm like, I don't know who that is. And I guess the lady asked for my number. She asked for my first name and my last name. And I was like, there's a lot of bad things out here, and I'm not going to give you my gr- my granddaughter's last name. You know what I'm saying? Because you, because she, my grandma asked the girl. And lady, she said, you're looking for destiny. So she's like, well, I don't know her last name. Starla knows my first and my last name. Starla knows what I look like, my first and last name. Oh, yeah. And she, my grandma said, the, the lady did not know my last name. And I'm like, right away, that's not Star. Star knows my last name. Star knows my first name. And Star would not come to my house. She would have, she would end up calling me. And then the lady told her, like, I need to talk to Destiny. She knows where I live. She knows my number. I don't know Star. I just know that she lives on Kelsey. But she was telling me that Star does not live with him. When's the last time you talked to Stig? I'm just saying, from the jail. I have not talked to him from the jail. He has talked to you through other people? He told my ex with my ex husband's cousin for me to write him, and I did. I wrote him twice. Because I'm like, look, I need to know what's going on. Because, you know, So we're looking into the Zoom, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, what? Now, does she turn around and talk to me? Or is yeah, I'm going to just... Yeah. yeah, we'll just do a conversation like this. And then I have this laptop open with some questions. Okay. In case they come in. So we have the clip.
have, I don't know if they've had a, a recent murder in the fact that, you know, it was a young couple, is an upscale house, um, and the method of, of killing this isn't something you see. I mean, it wasn't a stabbing or a shooting. I mean, they had bags over their heads and they were suffocated. And, you know, I mean, there's, there's just a lot of different angles to this story. And uh, it just stuck out of my head. And if you've been keeping along with uh, the story over the last 10 years, if you have seen the three stories that Brian Duggar put together or seen any of our coverage on uh, WCOL.com or YouTube, you've kind of seen how this is played out. And, and one person, uh, Sam Williams, was arrested and convicted of the murder. But even the police have said, um, you know, which you pointed out yourself, the fact that the victims had bags over their heads, there were two of them, the house was ransacked. It'd be very difficult for one person, just Sam Williams, to pull off these murders. Yeah, I mean, everybody agrees with all that. I mean, there was no way. I mean, Johnny Clark, he was a, a, a big guy, um, a strong guy. I mean, he's a really strong guy. I mean, one person was just not going to overpower him. And there was actually evidence at the scene that the door leading out to the garage, uh, there, there was some sort of damage to it. So the thought was that, you know, Johnny had got back into the house and he was trying to barricade the door and keep it shut and, and you know, people forced their way in. And that certainly isn't something that one person's gonna do. And, and you know, there were uh, at least six sets of unknown DNA found in the house. So there's clearly more than one or even two people. I mean, I would guess there has to be at least four or five people involved. Oh, one of the things that Sam Williams conviction really hinged on was the fact that his DNA was found on a cigarette butt right inside that garage door that you were talking about. But one of the questions that I had is... But, yep, that that's the look, and I'm done. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell, all of that.